Well, hello there. You're watching the official Theme Park Fans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another Theme Park Fans Q&A. Now, before I start this Q&A, I know what I'm going to be saying. You guys know what I'm going to say, and I'm going to say it. Sorry for the lack of videos. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't done a video for three weeks. You know, uh, the reason why. Um, it's because, you know, I've been back in school, you know, I've been really busy and um, and I just wanted to get a, a Q&A out for you guys. Now, you may be wondering, why is there a change of scenery? Well, at this minute, right now, I'm on a, a family holiday in Catalonia, so, yeah, it, 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 this is my room, basically, I mean, yeah. Um, and if you want to come out to Catalonia, like, if you're theme park in views, as well. You 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 will be a theme park enthusiast that's because if you weren't then what why are you do, what are you doing on my channel? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's no theme parks in Capilani, so unless you want a beach holiday, then yeah, don't come here. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about Capilani. I'm here to do the Q and A. Okay, so the first question is from Paper Plate Nineteen, and um, the question is, what do you think should replace Ripsaw's old location at Alton Towers? You know that that is a really good question. Um, I, I definitely think a flat ride should go in there instead of the pay uh, to play game, you, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I think a flat ride should definitely be replaced with Ripsaw. Uh, next question from Matthew Poole. Uh, sorry if I pronounced your second name wrong, but um, his question is What do you want to see for Fort Park's next major attraction for Project 2020? Um, I would love to see it being a mega coaster, but whether that will happen or not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it just depends what we'll get, really. Um, but yeah, I think Fort Park's next attraction should be coming around 2020 or 20. Well, actually, no, tw no, not 20. I'd say I'd say 2021. I'd say between 2020 and 2021 for the next big attraction for Fort Park. Um, the last question from Stacey Wallace, Milkshake Maker. Um, do you like the smiley even though it makes you dizzy? Well, the smiley doesn't make me dizzy. Um, uh, the smiley, it's a good coaster. Um, I always enjoy a good ride on it and, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is it for another few Pavan's Q&A. If you do have a question for the next Q&A, then do comment below. Um, I will try my best, like, once I get back from Kefalonia to make regular content. Because I know in my last video, I, I did say that I would try, but it's been three weeks and there we go. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new or you haven't yet. Um, give this uh, Q&A a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link will be in the description below, so please go check that out and give it a like. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say, really, apart from my, um, uh, my next video will be about my Alton Towers work experience. I know I did say in my last video I would do it, and, but the, the thing is, like, I just wanted to get a Q&A out of the way. So, when I come back from Kefalone, which will be next Tuesday, so, let me just check the calendar. Just give me a minute. That is uh, Tuesday the 26th of September. So I'll do a video about my Alton Towers work experience. Uh, um, then I'm going to be previewing Scarefest. Because Scarefest is only around the corner. <laughs> um, and then I may do uh, a review about Dan Bond's Ghost Train Rise of the Demon. But whether I want to do that, I don't know. By the way, thank you for watching once again. I'm Will Donnie. You've watched Park fans. And it's time to close the video down. Bye guys.